Ten years after construction began, water is slowly beginning to rise in Ethiopia's flagship infrastructure project. The Grand Renaissance Dam, which is built on the Blue Nile, is set to power a landlocked country of 115 million people, more than half of whom are off the grid. But as Ethiopia prepares for the second phase of filling next month, countries downstream are once again protesting. But Ethiopian officials insist their plan is not unilateral. Three countries have agreed on the schedule of filling. They say they have reached consensus. You know, there are scientists, 15 of them, five from each of the countries, in 2018 uh, designed, formulated a filling schedule. We're just following that filling schedule. This is not unilaterally developed by Ethiopia. It's developed by the three countries, the experts of the three countries. And you find that schedule in the draft agreements of Sudan, in the draft agreement of Egypt, and in the draft agreement of Ethiopia. In all documents, it is there. Egyptian and Sudanese officials say that agreement was never signed and therefore not legally binding. Cairo and Khartoum have called for the United States, the United Nations and the European Union to help reach a legally binding deal after an African Union-mediated process failed to reach an agreement. The deal will spell how the dam is operated and filled based on international law and norms governing cross-border rivers. Egypt relies on the Nile for more than 90% of its water supplies. In March, Egypt's president, Abdel Fattah el-Sisi, warned his country's share of the Nile waters was untouchable and that there will be instability in the region if Ethiopia fills the reservoir without an international agreement. Ethiopia says the 5 billion dam is essential and that the vast majority of its population lacks electricity. Ethiopia is uh, in, in, in darkness, you know, 60% of uh, Ethiopians do not have access to electricity. And those who have access to electricity is a, in a very small distribution, in a very small power that goes to each house. And Ethiopia is uh, really very much uh, in need of uh, developing the country, industrialization, you know, urban development, and bringing electricity to rural cities and areas so that, uh, you know, uh, this power will be, uh, uh, you know, instrument of uh, supporting uh, agro-processing, uh, you know, other development uh, uh, needs. Addis Ababa says security at the dam has been stepped up and the Air Force is actively protecting the airspace over it. The announcement follows recent military exercises by Egyptian and Sudanese forces. Egypt has also signed military cooperation pacts with Ethiopia's neighbors, Kenya and Djibouti. The row over Ethiopia's dam has security implications for the entire region. Ethiopia accuses Sudan and Egypt of dragging their feet constantly over the issue of filling up the dam, something it says both countries knew would be inevitable one day. Mohamed Ado Al Jazeera, Addis Ababa, Ethiopia.